Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to another video. The Rolling Stones, one of the biggest bands ever. They had seven or eight number one hit singles in the UK in the 1960s and many other singles which were top ten. In the 1970s, which is probably my favourite decade for them, although I do have highlights of every decade that they've uh, been releasing music. But in the 70s, uh, they only ever released seven new singles. They uh, formed their well. They formed the Rolling Stones Records in 1971, and their first album was Sticky Fingers. And they had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six albums, which only spawned seven UK singles. Now, of those six albums, I think there was 12. Um, singles taken in America but as I say in the UK there was only seven so um, this is going to be the shortest ranking I've ever done because I want to do the 1970s singles of the Rolling Stones I'm a number seven and this is from 76 and this is Fool to Cry this is from their black and blue album um, it's a slow ballad it's a nice song but it is a little bit tedious a little bit boring and I believe, um, well, what I've heard is that on occasion, or at least one occasion, Keith Richard is actually a Richards. Maybe he was Richard at this time. I know he changed his name from Richards to Richard, then back to Richards. But Keith uh, fell asleep during playing this live. During a live performance, he nodded off. So that sort of says it all. Oh. The B side of this is also from Black and Blue, and that's... Um, Crazy Mama, and that's actually my favourite song on the whole album. So it is a good single overall, and I think it would have been better as a double A side. I do understand why this was the A side, Full to Cry, because it does have that sort of single appeal, but Crazy Mama is the better song. Number six, and they're Ode to the Punk Movement, and this is Respectable. This is the second single taken from their 1978 album, Some Girls. Um, yeah, it's a great song. It's a great rocker. It goes at 100 miles an hour. I still think uh, the American choice of Shattered or Beast of Burden would have been better as a single. But still, not bad. Um, the B side of this is When the Whip Comes Down, which I'm not overly keen on. I'm not a huge Some Girls fan. I think it's overrated. It's um, not probably my least favourite of the 70s albums that are black and blue I can never make my mind up but yeah Respectable has been number 6 it's still not a bad song uh, number 5 and it's it's only rock and roll from 1974 it's a good rocker but it's um, there's nothing extra special about this it plods on a little bit too long for me the course is very basic but it's quite effective. It's overall not bad. Um, it's believed that David Bowie actually provided backing vocals for this song. I'm not too sure if that's the case. Um, but I can't actually find any proof or confirmation that he actually was there and singing during the sessions. The B side of this is actually Through the Lonely Nights. Uh, this is a quite a slow song and it's a non-LP track which is quite rare for the Stones so it's a bit of a rarity so Through the Lonely Nights I love those uh, tongue and lip sleeves I think they're great so that's my number five number four and the um, the big hit in 78 from Some Girls Is Miss You this is a good disco number I was never too keen on this. I do like this a lot more than I used to. I think that this sold a lot because of its B-side as well. Far Away Eyes. I know my brother bought this way back in the day. He bought the 12 inch single on pink vinyl and he played Far Away Eyes far more than he ever played Miss You. But yes, it's a staple of the Stones live performance. I do like it and it's Stones doing something a little bit different. Uh, disco miss you and that's my number four number three from 1972 and 
Tumbling Dice and the B-side of this is Sweet Black Angel both songs from Exile on Main Street both very good songs um, yeah Tumbling Dice is definitely a highlight from the album I know Linda Ronstadt covered it there's a lot of backing vocals on this it's again different for the Stones it's not your normal riff rock for them so it's a nice change it works really well and it deserved its top three placing in the UK charts 1972, Tumbling Dice. Uh, my second favourite from 71 um, is Brown Sugar. Now this is riftastic and vo uh, Jagger's vocals are amazing in this. The B-side, there's two B-sides in this, Bitch and a live version of Let It Rock. Um, Bitch is another fantastic song from the same album, Sticky Fingers. Let It Rock is a live version of the Chuck Berry song which actually featured is it the Spanish version of Sticky Fingers the one with the alternate cover with the tin of treacle and the the fingers coming out of the actual tin which is disgusting looking I think they took off the song Sister Morphine and put on Let It Rock instead not sure somebody can put down in the comments below whether I'm right or wrong uh, but yeah, fantastic song, Brown Sugar, more or less always played at every concert, and it's just a Stones classic. And my favourite Stones single from the 70s is from Goat's Head Soup, it's Angie, and I just absolutely love this. The acoustic guitar is beautiful in this. I think Jagger's voice is fantastic, and it is their best ever ballad. Uh, yeah even better than Lady Jane which I absolutely love as well and the B side of this is Silver Train which is the uh, opening song on side 2 of Ghost Head Soup which I think is fantastic and would have worked as well as a single but Angie, beautiful beautiful song uh, Silver Train the B side and I think I've shown this, this uh, single before anyway so that's my number one so for such a huge band uh, in the 70s they didn't release very many singles only the seven as I said there was some other singles released but those were from previous labels you know I think Out of Time became a single when the Metamorphosis album came out in 75 and of course Street, Frighten, Street Fighting Man was a single I think around 72 okay so that's my ranking of the Stones seven singles of the 70s um, short but I hope you enjoyed it Okay, that's me for now. All the best. Bye-bye.